Then I say, my, what big teeth you have, Grandma. And I say, the better to eat you with, my dear. <laughs> I don't like this script. You, you wouldn't really eat me up, would you? Gosh, I was just kidding. I wouldn't hurt you. Let's not do that line, okay? Okay. Thanks, Grinder. Ready, guys? It's almost curtain time. And you're the stars. Cat Nips, uh, I mean, Hello Kitty's Furry Tail Theater is proud to present <laughs> Little Red Bunny Hood. Cat Nips, get off! Come on! Upon a meow, there was a girl named Little Red Bunny Hood who left her home in Boston to visit her grandmother in the wild, wild west. It was a long, long journey. First by train across the heartland of America, and then by stagecoach into the lawless, untamed land of the wild west, where anything could happen. And usually did. Giddy up, lazy bags. We don't want to be late. Yeah! Stage robbers! Halt! I'll blow you off the road. Whoa. What's happening? Whatever it is, I don't like it. Stick them up! Hey, Grandpa, you're late. <laughs> well, we've been robbed. It was Bell Catnip in the Hole in the Ground Gang. Bell Catnip? Bell Catnip? Oh, no! Marshal Sam, get a posse together. Bell Catnip's robbed the stage again. That varmint has gone too far. I'll get her this time. Oh. She stole my brand new suit. <laughs> and she took my suitcase with all my clothes and everything. Welcome to Dog City, ma'am. I'm Deputy Chip. Here, let me give you a hand. Thank you. I'm Little Red Bunny Hood. Will you get my things back from that nasty bell catnip for me? You bet, ma'am. Whoops. I'll leave a new in charge of Dog City, Deputy Chip. Good luck, Marshal Sam. Be careful. Bell Catnip and her gang are dangerous. I've seen worse. Hidey Ho Silver! Who's your new friend, Deputy Chip? Hello, Kitty. This is Little Red Bunny Hood. Pleased to meet you. Pleasure's mine, Red. What brings you to these parts? I came to visit my grandma. She should have been here to meet me. I hope she's all right. You'll never get away with this. That's my granddaughter's lunch you're eating. Quiet! We're trying to eat here. Or would you like a cold shower? <laughs> <laughs> You'll be all wet when Marshal Sam gets a hold of you. I heard that. You're right. I hate getting wet. We need a hostage. And you're a to my friend on the way to a grandma's house. Thanks, Hello Kitty. Thanks, Deputy Chip. Adios. Be careful. What did he say? Whoa, boy. That's weird. I could have sworn that cactus got up and moved. But that's impossible. Good morning. A talking, moving cactus? Now that's really impossible. <laughs> Fooled ya. 
I'm the Big Bad Wolf, and you must be a little red bunny hood. <laughs> That's right. How do you know? Just a lucky guess. Where are you going, and what's in that basket? I don't talk to strangers. Excuse me, please. Thank you. But we're not strangers. We've already met. How about lunch? No, thanks. I have to get up to the Catawoosa Ranch to see my grandma. I'd like to get my paws on that lunch. But maybe if I hit her off at the pass... What do you want now? How'd you like to take some nice flowers to your grandma? There's a whole field of these. That would be nice. I'll watch your lunch for you while you pick some. Okay, thanks. Ah. <laughs> Hey, I just ate one little sandwich. She'll never miss it. Uh -oh. oh, they're so beautiful. Ouch! That sandwich sure was good. <laughs> but I'm still hungry. I know. Maybe I can get some eats at Grandma's house. Empty. Nobody home. Nothing in the refrigerator. Oh, what's going on here? Oh, no. I've got to hide. Grandma? Are you home? It's me, Little Red uh -huh. Bunny Hood. An inspiration. Are you there, Grandma? Come right in, my dear. I'm in the bedroom. Bring your lunch with you. Grandma? Come give me a big hug, my dear. My, what big ears you have, Grandma. The better to hear you with, my dear. My, what big eyes you have. The better to see you with, my dear. My, what big paws you have. The better to catch hold of you, my dear. My, what the better to eat your lunch, my dear! <laughs> Toe time! Eat beast! Yeah. I'm allergic to... <laughs> 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 deserted when I got here. Let me out and I'll help you find her. I saw a good dose for grandma's. Looks like they stopped here for water, boy. I'm getting closer. That fool marshal thinks he has me now. Has he got a surprise coming? We're gonna circle back to town and rob the first national piggy bank. You rattlesnake, you'll never get away with it. Oh, yes, we will. And you're gonna help us. We've got to stop them. Yikes, look! Stop! Hold! Slow down! Catnip, but he does. Follow me. Can I help you, ma'am? I'd like to make a withdrawal. Yikes! Bank robbers! That's right. Now reach for the skies and hand over the money, or you'll get these water balloons. But how can I hand over the money with my hands over my head? Ah! Uh, just give it to me! You got it! 
to sit on her tuffet. Oh! <laughs> but it wasn't there. And that was just the beginning. Hello, Mother Goose. Your tarts are missing? Hold the phone, Queen Fangora Parts. Hello, Mother Goose. Hi, Grinder Pepper. What do you mean you can't pick a pack up? Oh, hold on. Hello, Mother Goose. Yes, old Grandma Kitty Hover. You have a bone to pick? Hang on. Enough! It's not easy being Hello Mother Goose, but there's a job to be done. Let me get this straight. Little Catnip Muffet sat on a tuffet eating her curds and whey. No, that's what I was supposed to do. Let me get this down. No way. No curds either. Someone stole my tuffet and I fell and spilled it. Then along came the spider and sat down beside her. <laughs> and frightened little Catnip Muffet away. Get out of my curds and get out of my way. Ah! <laughs> get it? Hey! Don't get on my case! I'm just doing my job! Yeah, if you've been doing your job, my tuffet wouldn't be gone. Oh, yeah? Yeah! Says who? Says me! Says you! Says me! I don't have a tuffet, do I? Better check this out. You. Sit tight. Easy for you to say. You have something to sit on. Sammy Nimble, Sammy Quick. But Sam didn't jump over the candlestick. And why? Because the candle is missing. So I put it on top of a tuffet to make it taller. Stay nimble, Sam. Jump over this for a while. I'm gonna borrow this tuffet. Sure, it's not mine anyway. Ugh! It appears that these incidents are related. Oh, Grandma Kitty Hubbard, you went to the cupboard to get your poor dog a bone? But when I got there, the cupboard was bare. And so my poor dog had none. I borrow this candle? Oh, go ahead. I don't need it anymore. Pieces of the puzzle are starting to fall into place. Grinder Piper, I thought 
may be picking a pack of pickled peppers. Oh, how can Grinder Piper pick a pack of pickled peppers when there are no pickled peppers to pick? <laughs> You've got a point. You'd need pickled peppers to pick a pack. You're not kidding. Take a peek at this place. And they took my basket, too. So there I was. Proudly picking pickled peppers from my pickled pepper patch. A huge white monster passed through and poof! I was devastated. What's this? Hmm. Pinched peppers. Poor pathetic pooch. I'm okay. I found a bone to pick. <laughs> Aha! The mystery unravels. <laughs> Little Melody Peep. What's the matter? I, I, little Melody Peep, have lost my sheep and don't know where to find them. Leave them alone, and they'll come home wagging their tails behind them. Th that's not what happened. They, they, they already came back with smoke coming out of their mouths and their tails spinning like their flowers. They drank all the water and ran away. All they left was this basket. Which direction did they go? Way. Don't worry, little Melody Peep. I'm hot on their trail. <laughs> I miss my sheep. Hello, Mother Goose. Hey, Diddle Diddle, Chip and the Fiddle. Do you have anything to tell me? You bet I do. Last night I was fiddling around in the moonlight, as usual. The cow jumped over the mail. The little dog laughed to see such sport. Huh? And the dish ran away with the spoon? No! That's what I'm trying to tell you. They never showed up. Who? The dish and the spoon. Odd. Where's the king? Probably playing with his bubble pipe and listening to his fiddlers in the throne room. Don't give up hope. I'm close to figuring this whole thing out. Ew. It's around here somewhere. This must be it! The throne room! Cat Nabbit! Oh, Grandpa Kitty Cole, you're a merry old soul, and a merry old soul are thee! I used to be. Then I called for my pipe and I called for my bowl. But this isn't your bowl, your merriness. You got it, Mother Goose. So now you can't call for your fiddler's three. Right. That's why I'm not a merry old soul anymore. <laughs> I want my bowl. I want it now. <laughs> For evidence? You can keep them for evidence. Queen Bangor of Hearts, you made some tarts all on a summer's day. And the knave of hearts who stole the tarts and took them all away is on vacation. Therefore, your prime suspect has an alibi. Right, it wasn't him. This time. And where is your heart-shaped tart dough bowl, your hardness? The thief who stole the tarts broke the bowl. It's enough to break a poor queen's heart. Well, well, well. The plot thickens. I suppose you're wondering why I called you all here. Yes! Let me explain. I've solved the mysterious thefts. I found they were not thefts at all. But a series of borrowings without permission. While Little Catnip Muffet was on her way to get her curds and whey, Sambi and Nimble borrowed her tuffet without asking. Why? He needed the extra height to practice his jumping. The candle was missing from the candlestick. Oh, Grandma Kitty Hubbard had borrowed it without asking. She needed it to look for a bone for a dog in the wee hours. Of course, 
the bowl was gone because Grinder hibernated after his pickled peppers were eaten without permission by a white blurry monster, which was, in fact, none other than little Melody Peep's wayward flock of sheep. They needed something sweet to wash down the taste of the pickled peppers. And what better sweet than Queen Fangora of Hearts' famous tarts? When the sheep accidentally broke the queen's bowl... Oh! <laughs> the queen was forced to borrow another bowl. From none other than old Grandpa Kitty Cole. Old Grandpa Kitty Cole was thus forced to borrow a poor substitute. <coughs> Chip and the fiddle, dish and spoon. So here's everything I could get back. You won't believe what happened. Try me, Papa Kitty Pumpkin Eater, who had a wife and couldn't keep her. Well, for sure I can't keep her now. This white blur came by and ate up my pumpkin. Oh, oh no! Humpty Dumpty was sitting on the wall, and the sheep ran by and he had a great fall. I'll call the king's horses and all the king's men to put Humpty Dumpty together again. Don't worry, little Melody Peeps. The rest of us will go and round up your sheep. 